Basil Babes, it's your girl Joy, and I'm back with another banger. I'm not sure about the lighting in here, so I'm gonna try a few things. I'm not sure if that's better, but you check out, you check out the background, right? You check out the background. Okay, sis, okay, purr, 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 purr. So you know I'm live in my studio. <laughs> Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Should I be on this side? Should I be on that side? Should I be on this side? What side? What side I need to be on? Huh? What side I need to be on? Come on! Come on! Let me know. What? Let me know. Let me know. Let me see. So how you like the background? I worked on it for a while. Took a little while to get it done. And if you're curious to know how I did the lettuce, yes, I did the lettuce. It's Very easy. Let me know, I can do a little tutorial, just explain how I did it. You will need a little patience. So I think it's okay, it's okay. I'm making a few more flowers, but I want gold ones. And I'm not sure with the lighting how much you guys can see, but I love her. She really looks better in person. <sighs> and she cute? y'all I feel like I'm real tiny right now I might need taller chairs I'm feeling really low right now and I didn't want to put the sign too low because then if I'm standing up I don't want the sign in my back <laughs> so maybe I just need taller chairs so we'll just do this for now yeah I'll probably get a bar height chair but listen, 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 listen. How you guys doing? I am trying to make some pork chops in the air fryer. I came home, baby, I was hungry. <laughs> so I had to have me a little snack. Ow, ow, ow. So I had to have me a little snack before I got the energy up to make some pork chops. I haven't had pork chops in a minute. Sometimes I just want a nice fried pork chop sandwich or pork chop smothered in onion and gravies over some rice and a vegetable baby Woo! okay i know everybody doesn't eat pork i do i do sir okay calm down calm down it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay you do what you do i do what i do pear pear Woo! one of bobby's friends my daughter her friend had a crawfish boil but bobby had stuff to do so she wasn't able to make it and so the friend, she brought over a big container of crawfish for Bobby. And it was late. And I was like, that was sweet for her to think about you, right? It was sweet. So we downstairs munching on the crawfish. She was like, Mom, I said, you want to eat it now? It was kind of late. And we try not to eat so late. She was like, Mom, you want something? I was like, yeah, let's go downstairs. Let's sit down and eat it, right? And I got up, I think to get some butter or to get some water. I got up real fast. I was trying to rush back to the crawfish. Because let me tell you something. You eating crawfish with somebody and they eat it fast and you leave to go to the bathroom, wash your hands or whatever. Baby, you come back, half the crawfish gone. So I was like, Bobby was going to town. I was like, let me hurry up. Baby. I got up and didn't see the little end table. Woo! I hit the toe next to the pinky toe. Baby, that toe went to the right. The rest of the toes were straight ahead. That toe went to the right. Baby, I think I broke my toe. So it is swollen. I've been limping all day. Um, Bobby taped two of the toes together because as you know, there's nothing you can do for a broken toe. And it hurts. It hurts. So it's taped together right now. So after I shower, I'll probably have her retape it a little better. She couldn't get it too tight. It was too painful. I said, Bobby, you can oh, I was screaming when she was taping it together. Oh my God. I've never felt anything. Yeah, I have. I had a couple of kids. So it wasn't as bad as a kid, but that hurt. Hurt. So listen, 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 listen. So the kids are taking their state standardized tests. So I guess the government, whoever decided to test all the children for state standardized testing this year, right? And I don't think, I think um, a lot of people, a lot of people were not happy with that decision, but it's okay. But it's like these COVID kids, they're a different type of breed. 
did something happen with that long quarantine break that we had with these kids? It's like, not all of them, but it's like their motivation is not there. Maybe they received too many passes. I really don't know. So they're taking it state standardized to tomorrow. So, I, you know, I created a little uh, review, last minute review, whatever. You know, let's go through this stuff. You need to go through the review. So if you have any last minute questions, you're not familiar with something, or you forgot something, you need me to elaborate on something, make it a little clearer for you. Now is the time. Speak or forever hold your peace right that kind of thing and I put them in their groups baby group for you group for you group for everybody now if you decide to get in your group and goof off whose fault is that I can't make you do what you're supposed to do I can't make you study I emailed the parents a couple of times I emailed the parents to, over the long break how many kids did that assign the little review but I'm quite sure they spent hours and hours and hours on it taking a talk. I guarantee you that or some video game. But, you know, a parent may be quick to say, well, no, this is their break. Okay. So sometimes in life you do things, you know, that you got to do. Anyway, that's not the complaint. So here we go, some kids. I let some kids go to the hallway just to give us more space. Some, like right outside the classroom, um, there were groups inside the room, and then I would just work the room, and if somebody didn't understand something, I would do a little small group, you know, with my little groups. I walk out in the hallway to check on the kids, see if anybody had any questions of stuff, here go a group of boys, or, you know, trying to put stuff away. I said, do you think I care if you got your little cell phones and you're doing stuff that you're not supposed to do? Who? fault is that that's on you you know you have a test tomorrow if you're choosing to do other things other than this review that is on you so go right ahead and do you because the test is tomorrow because if you don't know it now you're not going to know it tomorrow so if you're choosing to use your time doing other things that's not important that has nothing to do with your state standardized test go right ahead and I gave my energy to the kids in the classroom who had questions, who had serious concerns and inquiries. That's where I spent my time. It seems like this whole year, I've spent my time trying to get kids to do their work. At what point are the kids held accountable? At what point? What point do we say, no, you have to take the initiative to study. You have to take the initiative to submit that assignment. You have to take the initiative to open that book and read that story. You have to take the initiative to ask for a retest. You have to take the initiative. It's always on the teacher. No, I can't keep doing that. I work harder than the students. Anyway, that's my little thing. So I'm wishing all my little babies who decided to to do my revise and editing and writing challenges. So I created escape rooms and I'm almost I am disappointed that I didn't learn how to do a escape room until the end. <laughs> but the kids love the escape rooms. They like the challenge of figuring out the codes and stuff. It's I've seen spark in some children I haven't seen all year. But we did with these escape rooms, baby, they love it. One parent I do have to email tonight because honey, her son, he was like, Miss Basil, is this right? It's right. I mean it the light that has gone off in him is worth every hour I spent learning and creating an escape room. So if you're an educator or your your child is in school, try to encourage your teachers test on an escape room. It does take time to build. Um, you can buy some that's already made, but I made mine from scratch, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Talking about hours on top of hours, but the kids loved it. So I think next year my focus is gonna be groups and escape rooms. They like that challenge. They do like that competitive thing. So it was it was really great to see some of the kids were really into it, and there was a small handful who were not. So I'm like, at this point, what more can I do? And so now they're doing another intervention for the kids, more stuff the teachers have to do. 
but we're almost at the end so now the kids are taking the writing portion of the state test and then next month they take their reading portion so just need to get them ready for the reading portion just do my part do the best i can and and it is what it is at, at this point kids gotta you gotta give you gotta give a little something too you gotta give a little something sis period you gotta give a little something 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 yes you do so that was my day. It was disappointing to see, you know, a certain group of kids. They just don't, they don't have that initiative or that work ethic. And I see that work ethic in my own kids and some other students. But I just, it's like, what is missing? What more can I do besides do it for them? I don't know what else to do. So anyway, honey, that is my little vent for today. And I was telling the kids, I said, if you don't ask for a Scratch paper, you better ask for some scratch paper. You better write your ass, you better brainstorm first. But I could be talking out of the side of my neck because you know you're going to have Tom or Brenda or, or Millennia or Melanie. What they going to do, they're going to see the essay prompt and just start typing. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, sis. No, that's not what we do. You want to brainstorm first. Get your outline first. Figure out what you're going to write about first or is your stuff is going to be all over the place. That's not what I wanted to talk about with y'all, but I did. No, I had that vent in here. I had it in here. I had it. Mm, I had that vent. So I hope you guys are doing well. I need to go check on my little pork chops because I'm hungry. I think I'm going to just have me a pork chop sandwich with some hot sauce and some white bread. It's good on white bread. That's how I'm feeling today. I just want a sandwich. I wanted to make rice and something else with it, but I didn't feel like washing the pot out to make the rice. I still didn't get a new set of pots, y'all, but oh well. Oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right, y'all. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. I had a great Easter weekend with Bay Daddy. We had fun. And the girls, I don't think the girls did much. Oh, they went to a few cookouts and stuff, crawfish and stuff. But other than that, the kids are doing well. Clint, I've been talking to Clint text. So we've been talking and he's um, maybe moving um, maybe an hour away from here to go to school and then he'll de to go to a different school and then he'll decide um, where he wants to transfer I, I'm assuming after his associates I don't know but um he seems to be doing really well guys and so we've been talking a little more here and there I guess baby steps are better than no steps <laughs> you gotta take some type of step I'll take a little nudge a little nudge <laughs> nudge a little closer um, I'm working, still working on something for my classroom. I did not work on it this weekend at all. And then when my toe was hurting today, you know, I wanted to dress cute today because I feel like it's, it's been a minute. Baby, my toe. I put this little baggy sweater on that had my little flip flops on. I was hopping around all day today. This joint hurt. And dang, I should have got my feet done. Now my feet look ugly. And I can't put a shoe on. Oh no, babe. Ooh, that would hurt. Ooh, just squeezing your little toes together. Uh -uh. So with that said, I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you guys. I was really trying to wait for my background. I don't know how it's gonna look on your end, the background here, but I think she is cute. I just love her. And if you're interested to know how I created this backdrop, you let me know. I don't know if you can see the lights. Can y'all see the light twinkle? I don't know. Can y'all see the twinkling lights? I don't know what you can see, guys. Alright, y'all, give this video a thumbs up or not. And 